Hey out there everyone. I want to announce the publishing of this book called Before Crips, Fussing, Cussing, and Discussing Among South Los Angeles Juvenile Gangs. If you ever wanted to know what Los Angeles and specifically South Los Angeles was like before the birth of the Crips and Bloods, you should take a look at this book. It's published by Temple University Press. You can find it online at Temple University Press or if you're in LA, you can go to Malik's Bookstore in the Baldwin Hills Plaza to find it there. Before Crips and Bloods spread across the city of Los Angeles, across the state of California, and across the country, there were clubs such as the Slossons, the Gladiators, the Businessmen, and many others who had a set of regulations, rules, and organization which was vastly different from the Crips and the Bloods. These were clubs that eventually many of them turned into militants. Some of them joined organizations such as Student Nonviolent Coalition, Black Panthers, things like that. This book was published by a now retired university professor and a now retired California Youth Authority counselor both of which are experts in gangs. One of the authors, Akil S. Botany Kalafani, is a member of the original Slauson gang, or club, I should say, actually. They call themselves clubs and not gangs. In fact, the term gangs come from the LAPD and other law enforcement agencies who sensationalize the gang activities and gang life. This book is about Los Angeles. It talks about black... Latino and Asian gangs. Yes, I said Asian gangs because yes, we had Asian gangs here in Los Angeles before the Crips and Bloods. Yes, we had some Asian gangs after that also, but before the Crips and Bloods, we had a, an amount of Asian gangs in Los Angeles also. And once again, I keep using the term gang because I'm from a different generation, so please excuse me. They did not use the term gang, they used the term club. Once again, this book is from Temple University Press. You can also order it on Amazon.com. But if you're in Los Angeles, please go to Malik's Bookstore. Malik's Bookstore in the Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza and pick up a copy of this book. If you ever wanted to know anything about South Los Angeles and Los Angeles in general before the Crips and the Bloods, these are interviews by people who were there, people who were involved. Many of these people were also involved in the Watts Rebellion. This book is not from the policeman or law enforcement point of view. Law enforcement and the media tend to sensationalize gangs and portray them as bloodthirsty, dope-dealing criminals. Hardly. Many of these people were not dope-dealers. Many of these people were not criminals in the sense that we think of it today. Many of these people went on to have, graduate high school, go to college, have jobs, careers, families, and others didn't make it. Once again, if you know anything about the Slossons, right there, then you should take a look at this book. And just to show you that I wasn't kidding, here's a picture from the book of an Asian gang member in Juvenile Hall. Another picture of Latino gang members, specifically Chicano gang members. Here's a picture of a young lady who is also a member of a club, of a street club. And look how well-dressed she is. Okay, these were not people who lived in impoverished urban slums like they always show you about gang members. Um, a lot of times when they show you movies or write books about gang members, a lot of times it's either exaggerated, sensationalized, or if it's about New York or Chicago or Detroit, they show like slums and how the people live. You have to remember, this is Los Angeles. It's a whole different world, whole different mentality. And just to show you how popular the club known as the Slossons were, there was actually a dance called the Slosson Shuffle, and it actually spread across the country. So instead of something negative spreading across the country, it was actually something positive that spread to over across the country, which was the Slauson dance. 
Here's members of the original original Slossons. Um, another thing I would like to say is that a lot of times when they hear the term Slossons here in Los Angeles, they say Slosson boys. These didn't these members of this um, club did not call themselves Slosson boys. They would never call themselves boys because boy was a white racist term that black men would never use on themselves at that time. A lot of times they mix up the Slossons with the clique known as the Slossons from the Crenshaw area. This preceded them by over 50 years. These are the authors of the books. Of the book, um, one of them is Professor John Quicker from Cal State Dominguez Hills University, a Caucasian fellow, and the other is an African American, Akil S. Botany Kalafani, who is a former member of the Slossons Club and also a retired California Youth Authority counselor and a former Youth Gang Services counselor. Once again, this was published by Temple University Press. Okay. Also, another thing is that they worked very hard on this book. This book is, on the one hand, scholarly, but on the other hand, easy to read. If you are interested in gangs of Los Angeles, Before Crips, take a look at Before Crips. And once again, go to Temple University Press. Or Amazon.com, but if you're here in LA, please go to Malik's bookstore because they have the book there. Once again, this is Before Crips, Cussin', Fussin', and Discussin' Among South Los Angeles Gang Members. A true to heart book about street clubs before the Crips and Bloods existed. Thank you.